challenge and uh, I'm halfway there because I'm actually a little behind and I have been talking about SEO optimization for blogs, for website, um, and a little bit more just about SEO in very simple terms that I hope fellow photographers can learn and can put into practice, as well as wedding planners, videographers, or small business owners who really can apply it to any kind of business. So today I just wanted to do a tutorial on um, using Blogstop, which is an amazing app for um, to make blogging a lot easier for you to design your images and for you to um, watermark your images, for you to watermark and add your logo. Now for a while, I was this was such a pain in the butt and it really prevented me from blogging more. So once I found Blogstomp, which only costs about 50 bucks, and I recommend you get the app. They first launched Actions, but now they have an app and you just download the software on your desktop and then you open it like this. So first and foremost is um, I'm going to go here to settings and go to styles. Here is where you'll be able to control the width. So let's say you you use Pro Photo Blogs, which sometimes can vary 900 width. So you would pick your width here. And also, do you want a border or not? Border width. Do you want... Um, and then here you can change the margins too. Do you want your tab to be really high? Do you want more, a little bit more border, not so high? Do you want a stroke? And here's the stroke color, which is what I have. If I put the slider down, it's not going to show any of that. So in terms of, oh, what size do I use? You're going to use whatever your blog recommends or the widest that it can be. So mine is actually 800 that I use for my own blog. And you could choose to have the tab or not. So let's say let's we're say not you're not gonna have any border, just um, just really a tab. Now we're gonna have to add our logo. And the cool thing about Blog Stump is that you can save presets. So let's say you have a logo for weddings, but you also have a logo for boudoir or you have a logo for seniors, you can um, save the different types like I have here one for um, my boudoir, then I have one for the Unjersey blog, a uh, Fuser Reese one that I just added now. So you go to add logo, you go add. Now the logo is the size they recommend on their website, which is actually an information that's really hard to find if you have had it smaller and a little bit bigger too. It's 172 pixels wide at 72 DPI. They do recommend it that you save it as a PNG file which works best and you could do that in Photoshop um, or if you needed to resize your logo now you could also do it online for free in case you don't have Photoshop or, or another tool for you to resize your image. So I have a logo here that's saved that I call Blogstomp that I saved on my desktop called Blogstomp PNG. So I'm going to click on it and click open. And there it is. Now I have to decide where am I going to want my logo. And if you hover over it, it always um, automatically imports it kind of to the middle. And if you hover over it, it will show this line, which will allow you to move it around. So I can have it here in the middle. I could have it here in the right side. Let's say I always want it on the right side. So what I would do is I would lock right and lock bottom. And here it tells you exactly where it will be positioned no matter what. Your tab height is see it's not moving so let's say I want it a little Style bit name I, I could call Fusa ink right side and then do add so then it's right here under presets it's saved if I wanted to do another one where maybe I want the logo on the photo and no border no tab height, and I wanted to do another logo somewhere else, you know, or a transparent logo. So then I'm locking it left, locking it bottom. So I'll call it use a test and click add again. All right. Now um, we talked about the styles. Now we, let's go to general settings. Now what they do is they create a new folder called stomped on your desktop, but you can, um, you can choose your own folder where you want it. You can, you know, create somewhere else or on your back on your hard drive and you could save it somewhere else. 
So here I talked a little bit for SEO purposes. We don't want it. Um, by default, it's going to use, I believe, stomp date. They did this because then no two photos are alike, um, and you're going to see if it duplicates. But um, I like original file name because I'm already renaming my images from Lightroom as part of my workflow. So then um, I actually leave everything else the way they have it here. I don't pick for them to sharpen, and I haven't had any issues um, for Facebook that I recall or nothing majorly, um, you know, big or anything. So when you stomp it, it's going to resize. So when you stomp, you're, it's actually going to watermark your image and resize for, for your blog. So it's awesome and it's pretty fast. So then I want, these are all my settings, I'm good to go. Now I need to start bringing in some images. And for you to do that, you can go, let's say I just did a blog post. I'm going to under my JPEGs folder, I have something here, JPEGs final. So let's say I wanted, these are the three I want. So these are, I bring in from Lightroom at 72 quality. So these are really my high res JPEGs. Now the cool thing about Stop, not only that it's fast, it helps you really design for your blog. So let's say I like that image and then remember, where did it go? Looking here, it looks like it did not. You go to edit. That was really weird. So I'm going to rename it here, Fusa Reese right side. I'm going to add my logo again. I want it, let's say, in the right. Lock right, lock bottom. And add should be right there. That's weird. And say OK. So now I come back here and it should be in my list. So this is um, what I want to use. So if this image I want it by itself, which I do, I click stomp and then it's going to go to that stomp folder all ready to go for you to upload in your blog. Let's say I wanted to make a little collage. The cool thing is you can add up to four photos. So then if you click, if you don't like this design, oh, mix it up mix it up again, mix it up again. And it's pretty, pretty neat for blogging for sure, and even for your Facebook page. So then those are all the Josh, Luca's here in the corner, so I'll click stop. Then let's say I want this by itself, or if I wanted these, and I'll mix it up in different ways too, and stop. So then this is going to be in a folder for me because I didn't rename it. I left it as as is the way they did it called stomp. So then it's going to be right here. I'm going to do this bigger so you can see. So there it is. So it's all ready, resized, ready to go for my blog. I hope this is helpful. So the number one thing to remember is keep your images, the original file name, pick the size appropriately for your blog, resize your logo so you're ready to go. Thanks so much. And we'll be discussing a little bit more about and I didn't forget our Google Analytics info, and that's coming up. I'm hoping to have um, a guest or two for the following blog post in regards to that.